Hi everyone and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. Today we're very proud to be able to bring you uh, this presentation. Uh, first of all, we're the last person to join. We want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. Before that, George P. Michael L. joined us. This is Online Trader Central. We thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. And with that, it is time to begin. It is exactly 4.30. Drummers, are you ready? And to the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter from the Stock Swish. Thank you so much, Kevin. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swish LLC. Thank you so much, Online Trader Central, for sponsoring this today. Welcome to the lecture. Today's lecture is going to be about one high income paying strategy. If you have any questions, you can feel free to write them in the room. I will see them live and can answer them as we go along. And if we have time, I'll go into more detail about some of your questions at the end of the presentation. If you'd like more information, you can go to my website at www.thestockswish.com and feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you're interested in anything I have to say today. I have a lot of videos on YouTube. You can feel free to go there and check out my information there as well. So let's get going. Do you want to make, you know, have a career where you can make over six figures annually? You might have a career now, but you might not be making the money that you want. Have you ever thought about trading the U.S. markets? This might be something that you've thought about casually, but have you ever thought about it seriously? Are you trading now and don't have any strategy at all? If you don't have a strategy at all, it's a good thing you're here today because I'm going to talk specifically to the, those people. Are you trading now and have a strategy, but it does not make you enough profits and instead constantly leaves you needing and wanting more each day where you feel like you're frustrated in this lack mode, like you never make enough to feel like you feel satisfied? Do you wish you knew a strategy to trade that would make you a high income per year? And again, this differs and varies for many people. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later as well. Do you wish you knew how to make money consistently in the markets? I know for some people this is challenging, and yet it's really all about the strategy that you're doing, whether or not you're seeing yourself profit consistently, because a profitable strategy will make you money consistently. Do you want to earn more income than you are now? Maybe it's because you have a family and you're starting to think about the future and providing for children or a spouse and you're thinking, gosh, you know, I really want to start earning more per year than I'm earning right now. Are you at a certain age in your life? And this could be your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, where you are not doing as well as you feel you should be financially. And thus you feel frustrated like, gosh, you know, looking at where you're at in your life that you feel you should be better off than you are right now at this point in your age. Have you been trying to trade the markets but are falling short of your goal so much, short, so, much so that you feel like giving up? Well, you don't have to give up. You just have to take a step back and regroup. Do you feel that it is time for you to make a change? And, and this is exciting. Change is actually exciting. Embrace change in your life, specifically in your trading. If you're doing something right now with your trading and you're not seeing the results, it is time to make a change. And change is a good thing. It's about embracing the idea of change. The time to change is now. You have to start somewhere. If not now, when? Later, next year, the following year, five years from now? Think about what I'm saying. It's time to unlock the keys to your own success with one high pain strategy. So we're here today to talk about that. So what is that? What is that high income pain strategy? Well, it's GAPS. Unlock the keys to your personal profit potential in the market. And by the way, we all have our own personal profit potential. Mine is different than yours. Yours is different from the, your friend next to you. We all have different potential within us of how we trade our styles of trading even within the same strategy. So learn how to trade one high income paying strategy and this is gaps. Gap trading is where the real money moves and momentum of the market take hold. They take hold in these gaps and trading gaps makes it possible to trade for a living. In fact, if there was no such thing as gaps, 
I have not, I have yet to find any strategy that exists that's even remotely as profitable as this. It, it might not be possible to really make a consistent, profitable, income generating living in the market without gaps. I'm talking as a day trader, not as an investor. I'm talking as a consistent day trader. And that's what we're going to talk about today. One quality strategy is really all you need. One quality strategy is all you need to pay yourself on a regular basis. And knowing one good strategy you can replicate over and over and over for profits can change your trading world. It can take someone from being a, a terrible trader where they're losing money into a profitable one, and it doesn't have to take that long. In fact, it could happen overnight. It's the strategy that sets up that takes you where you want to go to make the money. Having one powerful strategy that pays will open up your eyes to the true profit potential of the market, which many people, once they trade for years and years and are doing something stinky, start to feel negative about the market itself like it can't provide for them, but that's not true. It's whatever you're doing. The market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. Professional gaps are a high income paying strategy. So we're going to talk right now about professional gaps. This is actually what I do. This is what I do personally. This is what I teach. And this is the thrust and crux of everything we're going to talk about today. So what is a professional gap? And by the way, I made this definition up. In fact, I, I went online just to see what is out there about professional gaps. Even though I know this is what I do, I know there's not a lot about it out there. I went on to Google, there's next to nothing. And then when I read the definitions that other people have for professional gaps, guess what? I completely 100% disagree with the way people define them. And in fact, they're incorrectly defining them. And they're incorrectly teaching people how to trade them, which is probably why people don't understand gaps in the first place, even the gaps in the way that I do them. But what I really do is professional gaps. A professional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. That's what the definition is of a professional gap. That is what it is. So in the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. They are, it's new buying coming in. New buying that is coming in. They are buying the stock and giving it a lift. Therefore, the stock moves higher on the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are shorting the stock or selling out of it too. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. And that's what I prefer to do. That's what I love to do. Actually, I love to short. So what I do, my system, I name the golden gap, and I name my gap rating system the golden gap because it, it's like finding gold when you find these things. Finding gaps that rate high per my system that are also professional gaps is like finding gold to me because it's a way to make money in the market and it works so often and so well. So golden gaps really are professional gaps. I've never said this before in a public you know, setting, but that is what it is. It's just my way of qualifying them that is special to me. They are made by professionals though, professional traders. They are gaps that have a high odds of working on the day in the correct direction of the gap with a large momentum move. And that's why they're so great because not only are they made by professionals, they also have big moves. And why do they have big moves? Because professionals who run big money are making the gap in the first place. So the golden gap is all about high probability. Anything that can put the odds in your favor to trade will give you an edge. The 26 point golden gap rating system, which again is what I do, it gives you an edge. It reads the price of the gap and using technical analysis on an advanced level pinpoints which stock to trade that day and in which direction. The high probability is in the quality and detail in the rating system. 26 points is an enormous amount of detail. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes to rate one gap if you're new, and it takes less than 5 minutes once you become experienced with the system. So the idea is to trade professional gaps and rate them. So if you're new, it could take you 5 to 10 minutes. If you're, if you're experienced, it's less than 5. And again, who makes gaps? I mean, who is doing this in the first place? Professionals, but who are those people? It's people that have institutional money. Gaps are created with large institutional money in the market. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap. And not only that, confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and you get conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it, again, in the direction of the gap. Gaps are an event, 
and create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. Who are the participants? People that are holding the stock overnight, people who are in long-term investors in the stock, swing traders, core traders, anyone like that. Not day traders, because day traders aren't in these overnight when the gap is occurring, okay? So it's power money people, and power money people do hold stocks for longer-term trends. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of the power of money, okay? So you have to learn how to trade gaps before you can trade them. I talk to lots of people, and they think they know how to trade gaps. And I listen to them talk, but I realize after that I, that I start talking to people that many people don't know how to trade gaps. In fact, less than 1% of the people I've ever talked to knows how to trade gaps. It's one of these very, 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 very specialized things. And even if you think you know how to do it, you might not because they might work half the time and half the time they don't. And you can't figure out why and don't understand why. And that's why I'm explaining to you today what a professional gap is. You have to learn what to look at and how to look at it in order to achieve the income results. It's like if you were learning a new language, like if you didn't speak English, you'd have to start by learning the alphabet and you'd have to learn how to pronounce every single letter in the alphabet and then you would go on to learn how to form words. You would start from square one. It's the same way with trading when you're in a new strategy, specifically something as specialized as gaps. And ultimately trading is for income so you really want to learn how to do it right, because if you don't trade correctly, what happens? What is the result? You lose money in the market. So trading is one of these unusual careers that you take and embark if you decide to do this thing. If you do well, you make money. If you do not do well, you lose. So you have to learn what to do because trading is about income. It's making income. And it's visible results that count in making the income. And that's results that you got to see. You got to pull up your P&L, see the results, see the money there, and pay yourself. And if you can't do that, then what you're doing may need a total overhaul. Visible income means paying yourself, booking the money, stopping, paying yourself a check, booking the money, stopping, paying yourself a check, whether that's once a week or once a month or whenever you decide to do it. This is how you're going to get somewhere. We're saying, yeah, this thing is working. And this isn't about losing two months in a row and then making money the third month or losing three months in a row and making money one month. This is about making money consistently over the span of 12 months, enough so that you could say, this is my career. This is a high income paying strategy because I actually could do this thing for a living. I could quit my day job and do this thing. And how do you get to that point? Well, you've got to learn how to do it. So again, it's about income generation over and over and over. That's how you can feel the conviction to rely on it. Someone said to me today, well, how do you know? How can you, how do you know to get past the fear of taking more risk so you can actually risk more to pay yourself enough? Because you have conviction in the rating system itself. And the rating system itself gives me conviction to be able to take the risk that I do personally to make the money that I need to make. Because in the end, trading with small size or trading with size makes no difference. You're doing the same thing. It is about the level of position size you're taking a stock to make enough money to be able to pay yourself to do this for a job. And you can't do that until you know what to do. And the rating system tells me what to do. So what do you consider high income? I mean, we could talk about this all day. I, I think that many people have different ideas about this, and I'm using, uh, you know, six figures a year, American dollars, as just a general idea of something that you could look to make. Although some people think 250000 is a high income. Some people think a million dollars a year is a high income. The whole idea is if you start out and have in your head that you want to be able to make six figures doing this, you'll eventually get where you need to go as far as wherever you want to go, 250, half a million a year, whatever it is. And we're going to talk about that later on at the end. So the average American income, and I know some people here are, do not live in the United States, but I, I clipped this off of Wikipedia. That in 2011, which is the most recent findings I could find, the average household income, median household income in the U.S. was $50,054 per year. So... Really, if you ended up making $100,000 a year trading, you'd be making twice as much as the normal U.S. household. And I also found this as well. This is a close to the same number. This was an, from another site in re reference to looking at Social Security. It was 42979 So again, this is close. So it's somewhere between 43 and 50 is the average national income for people in the United States. 
And again, I know people live in different countries, but I'm using the U.S. because this is where the market is. So you figure if you're able to make 100 grand a year trading, working an hour a day, and which is much less hours than some people work who are making the average income of 50K a year, they're usually working 40, 50 plus hours a week. You are doing well better than most. Double the income that most people are making in the U.S. And if you can make six figures a year trading for at least one year, you are on your road to be able to making more. Or you could just decide you're going to make the minimum wage, which, by the way, is only $7.25 an hour. Actually, I had to look it up. I didn't, I didn't even know what the new minimum wage was. That's, a, that's how long it's been since I ever made the minimum wage. You know, you have to ask yourself, am I satisfied with this or do I want something more with my life? Where do you see yourself in one year? Where do you see yourself in five years? Could you even write it down on a piece of paper? If I asked every single person here right now in the room to tell me how much money do you want to make in the next five years, would you even know a number? Could you even say, I know a number. I know a number exactly what I want to make in the next five years. I have an exact number in my head, and this is what you need to ask yourself. I have a number in my head for the next year, and I have a number in my head for the next five years. And, you know, you could even think bigger if you wanted to plan long range. But this is the kind of stuff you have have to think about otherwise. We we do this. We all do this. We stay stuck in ruts. We stay stuck in ruts. We just like to be in ruts as human beings. We get in patterns and we find it difficult then to get ourselves out of it. It's time to start thinking about some goals. And the end of the year is a great time to do that. When you decide you want to become a trader and see more potential for yourself and your own income, you're really about self-reliance relying on yourself and no one else. When you get to a point where you want to rely on yourself, it's a point of realization in, in your life, wherever you come to this, whatever age, that your life is your own creation. For me, it was somewhere uh, between the age of, I'd say, 35 and 38. It, it took me between the age of 35 and 38 that I realized that I was the own creator of my own life and destiny. And for years, I did a career that I didn't like until I found out about the market. You, you are the one in charge of your own life. You and only you. When you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and to learn something new and make more money, you will be amazed at how things come together and how much your life can change for the better and how much you can do it, how powerful you are to do it, that you really can do it. You might not think you can, but you can. I have people that have met up with me that have traded for years unsuccessfully and they are not uh, youngies, okay? They're not in their 20s, you know, and they are doing it. Sometimes it's just about opening up our eyes and seeing the possibilities for our own life. Sometimes that means learning a new trading methodology or a new career path. For me, it became trading the market and trading golden gaps using my own checklist and rating system, which we're going to talk about here. So the Golden Gap uses a 26-point checklist to trade. I write down and go through each morning every gap that I see, and I rate them. And again, the better you get at doing this, the less time it takes. So it's, it's a rating system, a rating system to find gaps because there's a lot of gaps in the market, and how do you know which ones are professional gaps and which ones aren't? And how do you know which ones of the professional gaps that are happening are actually going to fall through and have big moves? Well, the, uh, the, the idea behind the system, the rating system, is to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, number two, a big move on the day, number three, early confirmation of my bias in the move, which is between 9, 30, and 10. So I want the confirmation it's going to set up a move by no later than 10 a.m. Also, precise entries with follow-through. And a good risk to reward because in the end, when you're trading, if you have a good risk to reward that's going to be able to take whatever money you have and maximize it, you're maximizing it if you're trading, uh, getting in entries where you're having good risk to reward follow through. So the philosophy behind the system that I created for myself was to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap, which is a daily chart. So all large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. Again, this is why the professional gap. So the professionals are looking at what? They're looking at the daily chart. They're not looking at, at a 15-minute buy or sell setup. They are looking at the daily chart. So that's where the bigger time frame comes into be with the professionals. Also, the philosophy is to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on what? A small time frame, which is the one-minute chart, which has a high degree of focus and accuracy. So as a day trader, you're trading and you have to be flat by the end of the day. You want to take 
precise decisions in a one minute chart so that you can maximize your risk to reward and have good exits and good entries. And to use the daily chart to make decisions for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction and then using the one minute chart allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy. So you have accuracy in the one minute, you have good risk to reward in the one minute and on the daily chart you're with the big money. And this is how it all comes together. So ultimately, like I was saying, trading is really about generating income. You could generate income twice a week, three times a week, five days a week, ten times a month. You don't have to trade every single day if you don't have time to do it. If you only have time to trade part-time, you could do it part-time then. Whatever time you have to devote to trading to generate extra income, it matters. Gap trading offers traders visible income production. Why? Because you can have a big move in one day and have a really nice money in your P&L to look and say, yes, there it is. Now I see the money. Learn something you can replicate in the market over and over. If you've been looking to make a high income in the market, then look no further. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy to trade. And you can make money to pay your bills, live a full life, and work in less than an hour a day. And what do I mean by full life? I mean a full life where you have time for yourself, time for your family, time for your friends, time for leisure, and where you're not struggling to pay your bills. You know, that ages you, creates stress, and does not take you where you want to be in your life. Remember, the reward is financial freedom. This doesn't necessarily mean living on a yacht, okay? Financial freedom means you don't have to be stressed the heck out about where the money's gonna come from to pay your bills. And you do have extra money for Christmas presents, for Hanukkah presents, for taking a one week vacation over the holidays, for whatever you want to do. So what do you consider a high income paying strategy? Well, we're gonna look at some examples here. First one we're gonna look at here is HTZ. Talk about a beautiful example of institutional money. The, the scam that happened back, this was the end of September, um, just a, two weeks ago, was a really nice, big, powerful move in the stock. Beautiful gap, closed the night before here, approximately above 2550 ish and opened the next day here right, right about $23. And, you know, if you're looking at this and you don't understand what's going on with this, if you don't understand professional gaps, you might think that this gap was going to reverse. Why? Because it hurts gap down and actually gap down to support. The support was a 200 pre moving average. That is not the correct way to read the gap. Remember I said earlier, it really takes a certain way of looking at these to know what you're looking at, to know what's gonna happen here. What's gonna happen in the open? Of course, in the morning, you're seeing the gap gapping down. And if you are reading this incorrectly, you are going to think this is a buy and support in this stock, specifically because it traded red the day before, traded red the week before, and actually had a sizable gap down. But the fact is, this was nowhere near a buy. It was actually a great gap, and it was a perfect gap, and it had every right to be aggressive in this, and it had a huge, huge move in the day. So again, what are the professionals doing with this? The professionals on this day, this specific day back in the end of September 26, sold out of this. They sold out of the long positions in this. And actually a bar this size typically has shorts in it too. So here was one trade you could have done in HTZ. Again, this is aggressive, but this is exactly what I do and what I'm teaching people to do. Stock opens, can't get a breath of life. Drops down here, rallies up. Here's a short entry in this if you want to do it. Beautiful, beautiful move. And again, do you see how if you thought this was going to be a buy, you might have bought this here. And you would have gotten stopped out. Where? Here. Or if you put the stop under here. It was not a buy. Not a buy at all. Even look at this. It's still not a buy. It's a short. So again, my rating system tells me that this is a short. Why? When I rate the gap. I rate the gap. It rates over 20 points per my 26-point rating system. I know it's a short. Not only that, I knew it was an amazing short. Top watch for the day. So here's the trade, you enter here, here's the first trade, you take it and you can be all out. And look at this, I mean, you could have actually been done in 10 minutes. If you wanted to just take this trade and be done in 10 minutes, you could have done it. Entry time was 9.34, price of the entry was 22.90, stop was over 23.05, risk was 15 cents, and this is, for an, this is an advanced risk. I did not do any beginner risk in this seminar, although all you'd have to do is just divvy this up by two or, or a quarter if you want to, if you want to take less risk than this. Exit for the first trade was 22.50, right at a number. Total profit was 1,400. Risk to reward in this is almost three. It's 2.67 times the amount risk was made in profit. So in 10 minutes, you could have made $1,400. That's a really nice, visible result to see. 
$1,400 is nice. It's nice money to start out your day. Boom, you're up $1,400 in 10 minutes. You can take another trade. So you could take another trade in this. What are you going to do? Well, this is a five-minute chart of HTZ. So say you decide, I really like this thing. I just booked this money. What am I going to do with this here? I think I'm going to risk a portion, only a portion, of the money that I made in the first trade and take a second play in HTZ. What should I do? Well, the second entry came later. It was 11 o'clock. Again, a reversal time in the market. Price entry was 22.75. Stop was over 22.85. This was a 10 cent risk. Again, you could be tight with stops like this, particularly in the morning. And it's still morning at 11, although it's starting to get later. On 5,000 shares, you would have risked $500. Same risk as the beginning trade. Exit was 21.30 if you followed this through to the next move. And it could have gone to $21, although it didn't. I'll go back and look at it. Total profit was $72.50, and the risk to reward was 14 plus times the amount you risk made in profit. And this is on top of the $1,400 that you could have done if you did the first trade. So you almost would have made 10 grand in this in one day. Now you did risk $500 in the first trade to make that happen, but on the second trade you risked 500 and you had made 1400. So if this would have bombed, you still would have made 900 bucks on the day. That's that's still real money. So let's look at it here. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful entry in the five minute chart here on HTZ. Second play in this, if you wanted to do it, you played this move in here, you were out. You booked it. You booked the whole thing, you're out. Profit, you could have stopped. Left and went to the gym. If you wanted to redo this, here was the entry. Stop is over the base and you take it and you take it all the way down. And you actually could have taken some out here. But at this point now, you already have 1400 on the day. You're ready up in this. When it rallies back, you can lower the stop. And here's where we get the drop off. And actually, if you didn't get out here and you tried to wait a little bit more to squeeze it, you could have taken out here and here's the exit. You see here the double bottom that it doesn't break and go to 21, you're out. And this is a really nice trade, actually. So, you know, you can make this kind of money in one day. Now, in total amount, you can say, well, I risked $1,000 to make almost 10. Yeah, but that's still a great payout. And you really only risked 500 because the first trade, you risked, you made 525. And then you risked 525 and you made 14. So minus this out, you if this worst case, this would have failed, you would have made $900. I'll take $900. $900 is a good amount of money. So do you consider making $72.50 in one day in one trade a high paying income strategy? Yes, yes, it is. I mean, honestly, you really only need to duplicate that two or three or four times a month and look at the money that you could be making. Again, this is an advanced risk, okay? This is an advanced trader. This is someone that knows exactly how to do this, how to rate the gaps, how to find the entries. And not only that, knows where to take the entries, how to size himself properly and put the stop. And this person is not going willy nilly because if this second trade failed, again and again and again and again, shorting the stock. If the second trade fails, you stop. Then you made 900 bucks, you shut it down. Again, self control and discipline. Let's look at another one here Lily. Beautiful follow through. Lily, not just the day of the gap, Lily also followed through the second day. And I woke up this morning and I saw Lily today, and I saw Lily is going to break again today. So, you know, and, and today and the day before here, we're not, these aren't gaps. These are continuation gaps, what I call follow throughs. But this is a beautiful gap here that happened just last week on Lily. Look at the size of this bar here. And it really didn't work out right this day here. This was actually the day of the earnings. This followed through and continued right in here and has dropped down now and continued even further. So what was the entry on Lily this day? Well, let's look at it. You could have actually been very aggressive in Lily right here. But if you wanted to wait, wait for what? Wait for confirmation. Wait for confirmation. It was going to open and break. You could have done Lily here, shorted it, and then you would have had this move all the way down. Now, would you have held this on through? Well, let's look. Let's look at the entry and then the first target and second targets in Lily. Entry time was $9.55. Price was $49.87. Stop was over $50. Risk was $0.12. Cents. So on 4,200 shares, same risk for this advanced trader, 504. First exit was $49.05. This trader would have booked 3444. This is still a really nice trade. This is a beautiful trade. And the second target, if you had the guts to hold it all the way down where it double bottomed and you're out, was 4850. It actually did not break that. 5754 was the amount here. This is a risk to reward of 11.42. So again, this is more than 10 times the risk. Now, how often do you get these trades? Well, in earnings season, you get trades like this a lot that will go eight, nine, 10 hours or more. 
In non-earning seasons, you do have to be picky. You might get a couple a month that run like this. I'm not talking the ones that make three R's, which is mostly consistent for this gap system that I teach. I'm talking about ones that have really big moves like this. In earning season, you see them quite a lot. How do you know to find something like this? You have to be able to rate the gap. You have to be able to rate the gap and follow through and play the gap and hit it and do it. So the first exit on here was down into here, this drop off. When it didn't get down at 49, for all you know, it could have been done. And this is still a beautiful trade we make over three grand. And here, here's the final exit. And if you stay in something here through this, you have to lower the stop. And then you're in this, and it double bottoms, and you're out. And this is a beautiful, beautiful move. So do you consider making 57.54 in one day in one trade a high income pain strategy? Yes. The answer is yes. Just like these people here who are cheering and celebrating and are at the beach. They finished trading early in the morning. They were done. They went golfing. They went to the beach. They did whatever they felt like doing because they basically just had their weekend in one trade. So I know a lot of people know that I do bearish gaps, and that is my favorite thing to do, and that's what I'm teaching people to do. But I thought I would put a bullish gap in this class today because a lot of people ask me, can your system be used for bullish gaps? And the answer is yes. Now, in the class, I teach all the 26 points the first day of the class, and they're all for the bearish direction. However, if you really have a penchant for trading bullishly, and that's what you love to do, you could take the class and flip the points to the upside. You would just flip them in the reverse. That's the difference. And I do often see and call bullish gaps in the trading room simply because I know people do like to go long and I can spot them just as easily as I spot bearish gaps. And honestly, I've gotten so good at doing my own system, sometimes I don't even rate these things. And I know that if you went through the process, they would rate. And FDX was one of these that just happened. This was the middle of September. This nice, big, fat, Green bar here in FDX was a professional gap. New buying came into the stock this day, and it had a big, nice move higher. So I thought I would show this example for people who like to trade bullishly, that you can actually learn my system and flip the points. Although particularly, I like to trade to the downside. This is a personal preference. That's all. So here, this is a one-minute chart on FDX. Let's look at the play. Entry time was 9.42. Price was 113.29. Stop was under 113 at 112.98. Risk was 31 cents. Again, similar risk, around $500, 558 this trader risk. You have to have the buying power to be able to take this type of position in this price point, or you can cut it in half. Eggs is 115.50. Total profit in this trade is 39.78. Again, a beautiful risk to reward trade. Over seven times the amount risk made in profit, turning 558 into 39.78 in, in just a few minutes. So let's go look at it. 942 is a setup. Stock opens and drops down here. You actually could have aggressively taken it here or waited it until the 945 reversal time. And here's the entry. And here's where the stop is, right in here. So you take the trade to get the run up. You could be out here, but at this point now you're waiting to the next reversal time. It runs up and you get this nice elongated stretch bar here and you're out. You're out as quick as you can be. And this actually could have gone even higher here in this, this move. The move on the actual day did lift over that area. The move on the day almost went all the way up to 117-ish. In fact, I think it did go up to 117. But, you know, this is a beautiful trade and you can't give any of that back. And there it is. Another great trade. How did you know how to do this? You take the point system and rate the gap, and this is to the upside. I prefer to trade to the downside because short moves happen so fast when they seem to happen. But I do know that people like to trade to the upside. So I'm showing that you, you can do this. And I do make these calls and point these out many times in the room. So do you consider making 39.78 in one day in one trade a high paying income strategy? The answer is yes. And this is a reason to celebrate. This is a reason to celebrate. I mean, once you realize that you can make this kind of the money in one day, in one train, or in two trains in one day, that you can make your week in one day, I can't tell you how much stress that takes off of yourself. And even if you're risking $500 a trade, which is an advanced risk, in the end, do you see how one of these trades would absorb three losing trades and still make you profit? Five losing trades and still make you profit. Two losing trades and still make you profit. But ultimately, if you're good, you shouldn't have that many losing trades. But this absorbs the cost of commissions. It absorbs the cost of room fees. It absorbs the cost of ECN fees and still pays you and some losses and still can pay you. And that is how you can earn a living doing this.
Because if you're trading something that can't really have big moves or pay you, you're, you're going to be break even. You're going to be down and you're going to be losing. You're, you're not going to make it and you're certainly not going to be able to pay your bills or even make anywhere near a six-figure income. So the Golden Gap strategy has a great risk to reward payout, which creates the high income potential. That's really what makes the potential for this is the entries when I'm teaching and pinpointing the right stock to move like this. And what do you consider a good risk to reward payout? Well, for me, it's three to one or more. That's the minimum of what I'm looking for, three on the low side. And with targets of eight to 10 or more if the stock reaches the dream target. How many stocks reach the dream target? I actually went back and looked in the month of August in September, just for two months. There actually were 19 gaps that reached dream targets in the month of the six week period that I looked at from August until the end of September. It was the middle of August to the end of September. That that was a lot. I, I Even I was surprised considering it was a summer period for part of the period and it wasn't even earnings season. And 19 gaps went to dream targets. So that's a lot of money if you add it up. One to one is just not enough risk to reward. What creates such a good risk to reward payout? Precise entries combined with the gap momentum, the professional gap momentum, the professionals that are making these gaps in the first place. So the Golden Gap strategy consistently directs you to the power source in a stock to determine the correct directional bias, which is how you're going to make money because you can make money if you're in a stock going long it when it's a short or vice versa. The Golden Gap strategy uses a rating system which pinpoints opportunity for you to enter before the big move happens. Many times if I have nothing to look at on a day, I get up in a Monday morning, there's nothing to look at, I scan, but by the time I find things on my scanner, the moves have gone. So this is why you've got to learn how to trade gaps. And if there aren't any gaps in the morning, then there really isn't anything to do. Because by the time the move set up and happens and the stocks go and trade, if they're just trading intraday in a certain direction with momentum, you won't get the entries. You'll be late. That's what's so great about trading gaps too. You can have everything figured out ahead of time at 9 or in the morning, way before 9.30 rolls around. So how much to risk per year to make over six figures a year? If this is really what you want to do, if this is your goal, and I don't know if this is your goal or not, but again, now we know that actually if you were able to do this, you are making twice the amount of the media American income, and that's pretty good. So this is a first nice good goal for someone to get to after they go from beginner into the advanced stage. So on average, to make 100 k per year as an annual income trading gap is a normal risk unit of $250 per trade is suggested, and this is not insane. Once a trader is experienced with the system and good at holding the targets, even using a $200 risk unit could achieve this goal. In other words, you certainly could do that only risking $200. This is a very conservative figure, okay? But I'm giving you some, some examples here of what you could, you think in your head, what do you need to risk? About $250 per trade in order to make six figures a year. So for example, and I'm just breaking this down, $500 a day is $2,500 a week. That's $130 a year. $300 a day, if you make that, is $1,500 a week. This is $78,000 a year. $150 a day is $750 a week. This is $39,000 a year. To be able to make $39,000 a year extra income working part-time hours is actually very, very good. Many people work part-time jobs and don't make anywhere near forty dollars a year. Some people work full-time jobs and make forty dollars a year. To be able to make $130,000 a year, though, income working part-time hours is actually great. And by part-time hours, I mean 20 hours a week or less. And if you're only working two hours, one hour in the morning per day, that's certainly part-time income. You have time to even have another job or another career or a business yourself, just like I do, if you have the extra time, because you have time on your hands, time, of time to do things, time to earn more money, if that's your goal, if that's what you want to do. Now, many times how it works out is it's not like you get up every single day and make do, do, do. This is usually broken up. You might have three days a week where you make $1,000 a day. And then two days a week, there's nothing. So I'm just giving you an average here. But this is kind of how it all flushes out. Because you know if you risk a certain amount per train, you're going to get where you need to be. Again, it's looking at the bigger picture on an annual basis, how you're going to pay yourself. And how much do you need to risk to make $250,000 a year? Because if this is what you feel that is actually a high income salary, which may be for some people, and some people not, depending on where you live, then I'm going to give you some kind of an idea here. 
Once you become skilled at trading gaps and rating gaps, you can increase your risk accordingly. If you want to make 200 to 250,000 per year as an annual income trading gaps, a normal risk unit of usually about four to five hundred dollars per trade is suggested. And again, this is advanced, but this is what you'd have to risk to get to this point. And actually, you'll probably be making more than this if you can risk this. Once a trader is making over $250,000 per year, the sky is the limit. Once you reach this level, you have a lot of opportunities. You can trade for yourself or for other people as well. People will be throwing money at you if you can trade like this because the sky is the limit for you. Why? Because this is astounding. This is where you know you've made it. And actually, if you're making over $100,000 in your trading, you've made it. You've made it. You're making more money probably than your friends who are traders that are struggling for years. And when you get to this point here, you know you've made it. And it's about consistency. It's about consistency. You have to do it over and over and over and over and over and over again for years. And then all of a sudden, you're making more every year. Once you know how to make money in the market, you can set your own course, whatever that course is. You know, retiring early, maybe you want to become a millionaire. You know, you never know what it could be. You can set your own course. You could trade your own money. You could trade someone else's money. You could go work for someone else. You could work for a hedge fund. Do you think they'd hire you if you could prove you could trade like that? Absolutely. You could go get a job at a trading desk and they'll give you tons of money to do it and you'll manage it. You can do anything you want once you can prove that you know how to trade. And people will be knocking down your door. And, and for some people, it's just about having their own type of personal freedom and job security. And in the end, this is important. Job security in today's economy. So let's talk about it. And what a, what a great time to talk about this, considering what's happening right now in, in the U.S. government with the debt ceiling coming up. Today's world is not the same. It's not the same as 25 years ago or 10 years ago or even five years ago before the bank bailout. What we think is a secure job today may be gone, gone tomorrow. Look at the world economy and the decisions that lawmakers are making for you, for you and for me too. Do you want to create your own future? Or do you want someone else to determine it? I want to determine my own future and that's why I decided to train. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking people. And it may not even matter to our employer in the end if the company can't keep you on. Every day in the last two weeks, I've turned on the television and I see something where they're laying off more people. They can't afford this new health care law that's coming into effect and companies are laying off people or putting them back from full-time to part-time. And these are great employees, hardworking. They don't deserve this. If a company has poor management, they might fail and it has nothing to do with you, or if the laws change, actually, or your industry might fail. Again, nothing to do with you, and none of this has anything to do with you. And when this happens, what do we tend to do? Is, again, as human beings, and we are emotional creatures, we tend to feel depressed. We blame ourselves. We can't understand what's happening. We feel angry. We feel frustrated. Don't go there. Take it upon yourself to look at it as an opportunity. And actually, beyond that, take the opportunity before that situation even takes effect in your own life. Make the decision now. You are a skilled person with a great mind. You can work for yourself in the market. You can create your own job security. You can create your own opportunity by taking it upon yourself to learn how to trade the market and make money trading and find a way to make more money now, extra money, even if you don't want to quit your job and everything's fine. How do you know what's going to happen? How do you know? You have no idea. If you learn how to trade, you'll have extra money coming in. You'll have a stash. You'll have, you'll have money in the bank. In fact, I was talking about this the other day. Cash is king. Cash is king when the, when the markets get bloody and everything falls apart in our governments. If you can bankroll yourself and have money in the bank, you're going to do well. You're better off carrying some debt and having more money. Because when the shit hits the fan, if these places go under, no one's going to give a crap how much you owe them. Cash is king, and that means you need to earn more. The only way to have cash, ready cash on hand, is to earn more because the banks aren't lending it. You've got to earn it. And how are you going to do that? There's only a certain number of hours in the week, and there's only a certain number of hours in the day. And the great thing about training is it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long to make this kind of money. I have never in my life worked such less hours for so much pay. Now, it did take me three years to figure this stuff out, the stuff that I'm doing now myself and teaching people. That, that was a time investment. But for you, if you come to me and meet up with me, it's certainly not going to take you that long because I'm teaching you what I know. And, and in the end, now... I, I'm doing something every day that takes so little time. 
And it's about self-reliance and personal freedom. And this can be yours if you decide that you, you are the only power in your life. You are the one that's making decisions, you and only you. That all these other sources do not have control over you. Don't let it happen when you go down that road and you start to feel negative. You have to keep your spirits high. So what do I do? I do the system I've been talking about called the Golden Gap. And the more often you make money on a consistent basis, the more confidence you will build in yourself. And this matters. And the more conviction you will have in your own ability to trade well. And this matters. One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap course is to have conviction in the Golden Gap strategy. So you can go out in the market and press the button and risk your money to trade. This conviction will help you produce positive results. Positive results and visible results. And that's what you want to see. Staying positive might be a challenge for some traders, but it is a requirement, a requirement for success. You cannot do this unless you have your head on straight right and you're thinking optimistically. This is a requirement, by the way, for success for anyone, anyone who wants to earn a high paying income in any field. It doesn't matter if you're a trader or not. If you want to earn a lot of money in the world, then you have to have your head on right. You have to be positive. You have to be optimistic. You have to be opportunistic. Okay. So the Golden Gap is a method designed by a trader for herself, which is me. I, I designed it for myself, and I'm doing it, and now I'm teaching people. So the Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. And the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. I cannot tell you how invaluable having a checklist is. In fact, I just made up a checklist for myself over the weekend. I reviewed all of my own stuff this weekend to get ready for earnings season coming up this week. And I made another checklist for myself. This is above and beyond. This is a get ready checklist in the morning. Um, this, this, this. I have to say yes to everything before I sit down and trade. Their checklist helps us because I'd like to say that nothing distracts us in the morning, but that's not the case. You have to have things that make you stay in check, stay in check, stay in check. Am I in my head? Is everything good? Am I ready to go? Having checklists helps you. This is why it's so great for this, this idea that I came up with when I rate my gaps, to have the checklist. This tells me what to look at, tells me what to watch, tells me how much to risk, tells me if I have conviction if it rates well, and sets everything out with the support and resistance area so I can take the trade. Take the trade and I don't have to worry about all these other things under the open. Otherwise, you're looking at a million different things and you lack focus. And lacking focus when you're trading is not ideal. You want to be focused. You want to have any focus. And the Golden Gap 26 point checklist helps give you focus. It's like a trading plan, except for it doesn't tell you exactly how much money to risk. You have to figure that out. But you go through and check everything. And if it rates at the end, you say, yes, I'm doing this. I'm watching it. And that's what you do. So the Golden Gap course teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. And they're all professional gaps, trading in the direction of the gap. The course also teaches students how to play the stock of the day, which is the entries. And you're not going to make money if you don't know how to enter. You have to learn how to enter right. So this is very important, too. The course teaches students chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And I say that because, like I said, some people have been trading the market for years, and they assume that they understand technical analysis or even something like support and resistance. And then they meet up with me, and they realize that they don't, OK? Now, you know, it's really about learning something that can see the visible results. And if you're having visible results in something, I tell people, keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing if it works. But if you're doing something that isn't working, you have to stick, take a step back and reevaluate. So the class I teach is a complete system, which is all the pieces of the puzzle. How to find the stock, what direction to trade it, rating the gap, taking the entries, what are the support and resistance, what are the targets, and ideally to have the right mindset. The right mindset to be able to go into the market and look at it as something that is going to pay you for visible income, regular income, consistent income, something that you can do over and over and over again. So it's called the Golden Gap Course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. After you sign up for the class the first time, you can retake it for free. The class is also online, so if you live anywhere in the world, you can do it. The class is October 12th and 13th, this weekend, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. If you are interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up. 
Space is limited because I'm not taking a thousand people in this class or even a hundred. I am trying to really be a boutique firm in the way that I'm teaching people to create them to be good traders because that benefits them and it benefits me in growing my business. So if you are seriously interested, the sooner you sign up to reserve your spot, the better. I also am doing a special for October. I have another class which is called the Trends Course. And this is October 15th and 16th from 1 to 5. This does not teach you how to rate gaps, but it teaches you a how to read trends, which I find people find challenging, how to read trends in stock charts or the market. The cost of this class alone is $9.99, and the special is you can take both these classes for one price in October. So you do the class on Saturday and Sunday, and then the class for the Trends class is the following week, Tuesday and Wednesday. It's a savings of $4.99. So this is a good deal because altogether, if you paid for everything, it would be $3,500. So this is a combo special for October. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. So remember what I was saying tonight. Really, empower yourself in your own world to trade. And, and you really are living in your own world. Nobody knows your own uh, joys and sorrows like you. You have to be the one that's decide, you know, do I really want to do this? Do I want to do something different? You're the one that has to empower yourself to do it. I'm teaching you the information. You have to take it upon yourself to do it. And not only that, you have to be excited about doing it. The idea of trading the market to me was exciting. It was exciting to be able to make this kind of money. It was exciting to be able to do something new where I wouldn't have to work myself like a crazy person. I love the idea of doing it. And I don't know anyone like me that is having more fun trading the market and teaching. I, I get up every morning and I love what I do. And it makes a huge difference because for 17 years, I did a job that I hated. And I can't tell you how much better of a quality of life I have right now, not just because I'm not working as many hours, but because I actually am doing something that I like. So learn how to trade to change your life. Don't leave yourself stuck in a situation like this guy. He's got work piled high to the sky. He'll never make it home in time. He eats dinner on the fly. He has McDonald's every night and he's gained weight. He doesn't want to live like this forever, but what can he do? He's got to start making some changes. So it's time to think about that before the end of this year. So does anyone have any questions about anything at all? And I'll put my email in here as well. If you're interested in the course, you can email me. Oops, it just went up there, Kathy. Can you grab that? There it is. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions at all what I discussed about my rating system, about professional gaps, about shorting, anything at all about the risk to reward in the system? Any questions? We have a few moments here. Everyone's very quiet today. <laughs> Hope everyone had a good trading day. Is anyone there? <laughs> you guys are either mesmerized by every word I said or you're, you know, I've talked too long. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Joe, there's Joe. You're absolutely mesmerized. Okay, well, that's good. I do know that sometimes when I get excited, I tend to talk fast. Great job again, Melissa. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, you're welcome. I, I'm working very hard on slowing down my speech. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get there, <laughs> but I'm trying. <laughs> Any other questions? Looking forward to taking the course. Great. Wonderful. Well, you know, earnings season actually starts. We have a couple of minutes here. Earnings season starts tomorrow night. Tomorrow night with the report of AA. And actually, there is some really good company names are reporting this week. There's some banks this week, some health cares. But next week is when the earnings really just, there's just blow up. There's going to be 30, 40 things to look at every single day. So really exciting time to trade. I'd say probably the next six to eight weeks. Between now and like in between, between now and like Thanksgiving is a really, really busy season to trade. Gaps. I'm beyond charming. Thank you, Jerry. 
Try to hit gaps mostly during earnings. Well, do I? Well, that's when there's a lot of them. That's when there just happens to be a lot. It's not like I try. It's not like I don't do non-earnings gaps. I do all kinds of gaps. Uh, that Lily gap that happened wasn't an earnings gap. There's a million times you could think gap a million reasons. Stocks can gap because of a downgrade, an upgrade, an earnings, a uh, change in the earnings, a pre-announcement. Somebody goes on CNBC and talks and says something, some CAO, and there's a news announcement. Anything, anything could happen. The market gaps and the stocks can gap with the market or a sector can gap. So there's lots of reasons why stocks gap, but it just so happens that in earnings season, because there's a flood of earnings coming out, stocks happen to gap and they get tons and tons and tons of them during those time periods, which happen four times a year. And then in between, you do get lots of gaps, but now nowhere near as many like getting out of bed in the morning and you have 40 things to look at. So that, again, this is why you have to have a, a system to qualify them. Because I'll tell you right now, every single earnings gap isn't going to have a big momentum move with a beautiful entry. So how are you going to pick it? You got 40 great things to look at. What are you going to do? Well, you have to find a way to narrow it down unless you can take 40 trades at once and they're not all going to work. What happens in a choppy market? Well, Nikki's asking me this. Can I detect it from the Chen? Good question, Nikki, because actually today was a choppy day in the market. I'm guessing that's why you might have asked me. If you didn't look at the market, you can go look at it now. It was choppy. Market gap down today. Failed immediately. As soon as it triggered lower, failed, flipped around, went over the high and rallied up. And I said, that's it. That's it. Market's higher. And we held. So you can call this market choppy, really. Intraday today was very choppy. If you didn't buy the market aggressively in the gap down, which there would be no reason to do, uh, then there was no real play in today to the upside or the downside. It was a very choppy day. If you looked to trend trade today, you probably got chopped to bits and pieces. In fact, I got up this morning. I told people don't do anything. I said, this is not a high odds day to trade. That's exactly what I said in the room. But there's not that often that many days, but there are days like that. And today was one of them. Why? The market is higher. The market's in an uptrend. The market has a trend. It's bullish. We're coming in. We're not ready to make a move higher yet, so we're sloshing around. We are not lower, though. Until otherwise noted, we are higher in the market. We're in what I call now a rest period. We are resting and waiting to go higher. We haven't done it yet. We're not ready to do it yet. And we could rest for a while. We could rest for another week, another two weeks. Who knows? We can rest till this whole government thing shakes out and they make a decision. I, I can't tell you the answer, but I can tell you today was a choppy trading day, and actually I didn't do a thing. I didn't take one trade today at all. And I said today in the morning, I could tell at 8 a.m. It was a low odds day to trade. I tried and tried and tried to look for something. I can't make it up. There wasn't anything to do today. Tomorrow, probably. This week, there will be earnings and there will be stuff to do, irregardless of the market's direction. But that's the beautiful thing about gaps. Gaps work on their own. You don't need the market with you to trade gaps. How do I know? I made my system, created my system, which is a bear strategy in a bullish market. So you don't need the market with you. But if you're trend trading, then you do. Because it's hard to trade something, even in a trend, in a choppy day like today, nothing probably had correct entries. Like you'd see something, it's set up, it wouldn't go anywhere. You'd be up 10 cents and flipped around and failed. Reset up again. You try to retake it. It moved five cents and flipped around and fail. That's probably what happened to a lot of people today. I saw it happening in stocks and setups in the market. So it just wasn't a good day to trade. But the market is, is, just has no effect on gaps. Why? Because institutions trade stocks. They trade stocks. They buy stocks. They sell stocks. They short stocks. They'll do that in any market, bearish or bullish. So it doesn't matter because people have money. People have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of money. They have to do something with it. I know we live in our own little world and sometimes you forget how much money exists on the planet, but don't forget what I'm telling you. It's there. It's in the market. Just go get up in the morning and look at it. And this is why you have to change your mental thinking and your vantage point. People have gobs of money. They are wealthy and rich. Walk down Fifth Avenue, New York City, people are stinking rich. And so they have to do something with their money and they have to do something with it and they want to make it and they want to invest it. Whether the market is choppy today, it won't be choppy forever. Whether the market's bullish or bearish, there will always be people that invest. Whether they short or buy stuff, they must do something with their money. And that will always have moves in the market for us as traders to trade. And that's the beautiful thing about the opportunity in the market. Because we're just playing on those moves, the moves of people that are made with big money. OUTR, I did not, OUTR, I did not look at it all today. So I'm sure it wasn't a good gap because it didn't even come up on my scanner. I can go look at it, David, later. If you want to email me, I'll look at it. 
but I didn't do anything with that at all. I didn't even, I don't even have it written down anywhere. It probably just opened and traded, in which case then it's not really a gap. But I'll go look at it. If you want to email me, I can tell you what I think of it. So really, uh, uh, you know, if anyone has any other questions, please feel free to email me. You can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you're interested in any questions about the market, like Nikki asked me about the choppy market. And if you're interested in the course this weekend, you can email me too. And I'll send you the information and the outline for the class. You can see the topics that are covered. It, it is a very invigorating course. It teaches you a lot of information. And even if you think you know how to trade gaps, I'll change your vantage point. It, this, is, this is one of these things in the market that once you learn how to trade it correctly and start seeing the results, you'll probably never do anything else. <laughs> but you do have to learn it. If it gapped up $5, it would have been a bullish gap. I can go look at it. It wouldn't have been a bearish gap then. But I don't know if it was a good bullish gap. I'd have to go look at it. It didn't come up anywhere on my radar, though. But I usually look at the bearish ones. But I'll go look at it. Maybe I'll do a video of it and put it for you on YouTube, David, and just give you my analysis. But I didn't trade it. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Online Trader Central, so much. Thank you for having me here today. If you need anything, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com and have a great evening.